Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Bergen Community College Commencement 2013. The temperature has risen. It's going to go to 80 degrees today. The sun is out. The flowers have bloomed. And there are literally hundreds of people wearing caps and gowns around me. So that can only mean one thing. It's graduation season. And we are coming to you live from the IZOD Center for the first time. This is Studio Bergen Live. My name is Larry Levanka. This is a very exciting day for us here at the college. This is our biggest event of the year. It's an exciting day for our graduates. It's an exciting day for their parents. And it's an exciting day for me. This is the first time that we have ever done something like this at Bergen Community College. We do a normally 30-minute uh, program called Studio Bergen. I hope you watch that. But today is completely different. Today is a live show. So let's go over some of the stats and the news and some of the things that are coming to you live from the IZOD Center. This is the 44th commencement for Bergen Community College. It is the fifth at the IZOD Center here in East Rutherford, New Jersey, the former home of the Nets and Devils. Uh, we used to have our commencement in our parking deck, if you can believe that. Uh, it was a little dark there, and I can definitely say that these are some better digs. There are 2,308 graduates. Not all of them are here today, but most of them will turn their tassels today here at the IZOD Center. It is the largest class ever for Bergen Community College. We have never had a class that is this big. That is uh, due to a multitude of reasons, but uh, we're very happy that they are here and they are going to turn those tassels later on this morning. Uh, it includes August, December, and May grads. So uh, if they graduated last year, they're also going to attend today at commencement. It includes 57 students that earned 4.0 GPAs. I had a good GPA in college, but I didn't have a 4.0. That is something really special for all these kids here today, uh, for those that have earned that distinction. There are 68 members of Phi Theta Kappa, which is the college's honor society for two-year colleges. Again, these are very high achieving students, folks. These are kids that have risen to the top of their class, uh, have taken extra coursework, have done community service in order to really round out their college experience. There are 33 members of the Judith K. Wynn School of Honors here today, too. Uh, again, high achieving students, all of them. Our valedictorian today is Sunny Glotman. She's going to be stopping by this program in a little bit, along with a few other guests. She's a terrific story. She's one of the uh, highest achieving students that I've met here at Bergen, and she's really something special. There are 20,000 seats here at the IZOD Center. We'll probably fill about half of them. As you can see, we do have some of the uh, arena here cordoned off but this will be a packed house for commencement. Our speakers today, number one and first and foremost is our keynote speaker, Dr. B.K. Walter, who is the college's president. She's been here for a little bit less than a year, but she is going to give the keynote address in any event. It, uh, is gonna, I've seen it, and it's going to talk about foundations and building. This is her first year, so she wants to talk about how she's trying to build something really special here at Bergen. Lori Montenegro, who is from Telemundo, uh, she will offer remarks today uh, sometime in the beginning. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, she has spoken with all kinds of people on the national stage, so it's uh, really a, an exciting thing uh, for these graduates to see her and meet her here at commencement. We also have Bergen County Executive Kathy Donovan. She will offer remarks and talk about uh, how proud she is of our graduates. David Gans is here. He is a freeholder. Um, Sid D. Wilson, the vice chair of the Bergen Community College Board of Trustees, he is also here and will offer remarks to the grads. And then we get into some of our people. Uh, and we have a lot of new people at the college these days, a lot of new people in the administration, and we're going to hear from a bunch of them. Uh, we're going to hear from Nadine Gonzalez de Jesus, who is the vice president for student affairs. She is going to talk to the graduates at the lectern, too. The new academic vice president, Bill Mullaney, he is here. He will speak to the graduates as well. Kind of an old timer, but a veteran and a really great friend of mine, Dr. Ursula Parrish Daniels. She will also offer remarks to the, to the graduates. She is the executive assistant to the president. And finally, Marjorie Webster, who is a longtime faculty member, is the grand marshal of today's uh, commencement exercises. She will lead everybody down, those, uh, down that corridor uh, in a few minutes. We are about 25 minutes away from that, and she will also take the lectern a little bit later. Some of the featured guests here today, Jean Walsh, a member of the, uh, was a Bergen County freeholder, 
at the time that the college was first founded. He championed, along with a few other freeholders at that time, building the college back in 1965. Uh, the leases and the uh, land was acquired, and then finally the college was opened in 1968. Kind of on that note, the first class of the college from 1970. There are a number of individuals here uh, that graduated as part of that class today. So that's really exciting for them. Dean Strawn, Earl Tuford, Beverly Walker, Leonard Gleason, Salvatore Stamila, Jane Merker Wilson, Jacqueline Kasanakis, and Gail Okanowski, all from that original class of 1970. They are here in the house, uh, and we are very glad that they are here today. You know, it uh, comes up quite a bit, but uh, what is the difference between graduation and commencement? Commencement are the, is the ceremony that we're going through today. Commencement is really the celebration of what goes on here. Graduation is the act of graduating, as it says, uh, fulfilling your degree requirements and graduating once you get that diploma. Um, that's the difference between those. We're going to talk to a few guests very shortly. It should be a minute or two before our first guest uh, arrives on the scene here and we're going to talk about their memories from commencement. We're going to talk about uh, what this day means to our students. Uh, obviously, it's a very important, uh, ver really a, a, a banner moment in their lives today. It is something that they will remember uh, for the rest of their lives. It's certainly something that I remember um, for a number of reasons that uh, maybe I'll get into a little bit later. But um, we're also, uh, today, we're live at the Izod Center. And so is my good friend, Mr. BCC. He is blogging live on the Bergen Community College Facebook page, so make sure you follow that. He will be here, and uh, he's in the bowels of the Izod Center backstage, uh, putting you behind the scenes and trying to give you a, a flavor or a feel for what's going on here at Izod. The college also debuted its Instagram account today. You know, all you guys that are big into the social media, the college really has all of you covered. Uh, we now have a Facebook page, we have an Instagram account, we have a Twitter account, and of course on YouTube as well. So uh, today is a big day for that uh, group too, the social media guys here at the college. Um, Instagram is live, follow them at Bergen CC. Follow the college's uh, landing page at bergen.edu slash commencement 2013. There you'll kind of find the, uh, the portal, if you will, to everything that's going on for commencement. You'll find links to all of those things that I had just mentioned on the social media. You'll also find stories from commencement. You'll find photos from commencement. And you'll find video recaps, probably of this program that you're watching right now. And of course, the ceremony, which will begin at 10 o'clock. We're counting down, we're, about, uh, we're within 25 minutes now uh, to commencement 2013. That landing page should have photos throughout the weekend and the videos should be up sometime next week. You know, you look at this crowd here today, the parents are filing in, it's exciting for them because I know I can say how excited my parents were back in the day when I graduated from college. I don't want to say how many years ago, I, I'm a pretty young guy, but it's getting up there in years. It was a big day for them, and quite frankly, that was uh, the best part of commencement for me, uh, showing my parents uh, how their pride and their dedication and what they did for me uh, really came to a head on that day. So mom and dad, if you're watching, thanks for that, and that is my biggest commencement memory. I also remember, and I hope some students here today have a memory like this, I remember coming off the stage at commencement and a faculty member that I had gotten very close with over my years at my school, Rowan University in South Jersey, another public school just like Bergen Community College. Uh, I remember coming off the stage after I had received my diploma uh, and he gave me a big hug. He told me how proud that he was of me and uh, that was something that I truly will never forget. This commencement also, as I said earlier, is the biggest class for Bergen Community College. Uh, we've had some big classes before, especially in recent years. Due to the economy, more students than ever before are choosing Bergen Community College. So uh, things have expanded at the college. We've gone from enrollments of 15,000 to over 17,000 in a very short time. So that's really exciting for us. Uh, of course, it means that we have to do a few more things and we have to uh, really provide services for more students, but we're happy to do it. Um, and it's uh, just like this television show. This is something new and something exciting. We want this to be a big event. We want to give it a big feel. We want you to feel like this is the Oscars or the, uh, the Super Bowl. So this is an appropriate pregame show for that. I'm happy to be here. We should have our first guest stopping by 
very shortly. We're going to get them mic'd up and we're going to talk about uh, their memories here from commencement 2013. What else is going on at the college these days? Classes have ended for the fall semester. They ended on Monday, but we will be going into various summer sessions. They begin uh, throughout the summer. There are six of them that are offered at Bergen Community College at the Meadowlands, which is uh, in Lindhurst at 1280 Wall Street West, and also at the main campus, which is 400 Paramus Road in Paramus. If you'd like to register for any of those classes, visit my.bergen.edu or stop by any of the facilities in order to register. Don't forget to watch the, this program, Studio Bergen Live. Uh, I'm sorry, Studio Bergen, which is our monthly uh, cable news program. Uh, it's a half hour show and we, we cover everything that's going on at the college. So um, I actually have our first guest that's about to make her appearance. So uh, we're gonna see her very shortly. Her name is Sunny Glotman. She is from Florida and she is the valedictorian of the 2013 class. The valedictorian is selected through a process. This is not something that uh, comes easy for students. As I said earlier, there are 57 students that have 4.0 GPAs. There are many honor students. There are a lot of students that are deserving of this honor, but uh, it is going to be Sunny Glotman, who uh, we're just miking up right now, and she is going to join me, and we're gonna talk about commencement 2013 for her. Okay. It's a very exciting day for her, I'm sure. Uh, it's a big moment in her life, and I can't wait to see how she feels about what she's about to do in a very short amount of time. She's going to give the keynote address um, before her class. I can just hold it. Sunny, welcome. Thank you. Welcome Thanks to commencement. For having me. How are you? Doing fairly well. Yeah, what's going through your mind right now? Kind of having this like calm after the storm. Like yesterday, I was like, oh God. 5,500 people, what am I gonna do? And now I'm like, oh, I got this. <laughs> I might drop the mic afterwards. Well, that's okay. No, no. <laughs> that's all right, a little, little Kanye West, I yeah, guess, right? That's... Uh, have you gone over your speech at all, or, or are you just gonna kind of wing it? I'm sure do you're Do you want me to be prepared. completely honest with you? Go ahead. I wrote this beautiful, marvelous speech, and this morning, halfway through the drive, I decided I'm entirely gonna wing it and not use that speech. Wow. So. <laughs> what was the reason for that? I don't know. It's all the zen. So you're gonna go off the top of your head and whatever you feel. Yes. So it's really gonna be a feeling speech more than a prepared speech. I think really the people in attendance here, parents, graduates, I think they'll appreciate that. So it's more often, heartfelt. Absolutely, I think the, uh, the keynote speakers sometimes end up uh, reading from a pre prepared speech that maybe doesn't come from the heart. So that's really interesting. You wanna okay. give us a little preview of what's on your mind about it or do you wanna save it for the uh, for It's the a event? mystery, I gotta let the magic happen. You gotta let the magic happen. <laughs> so how did you become how did you come to Bergen Community College? You have a real interesting story. I know you're originally from Florida. Yes, um, I'm originally from Florida. Um, when I was 17, I moved to New York City with my family. Mm -hmm. um, they actually moved back after a few years. I stayed, tried my hand at being a starving artist, failed miserably, um, waited tables for several years, and then got to this point of like, I cannot serve another 80-year-old woman her vodka martini. I'll just kill over. So I then, um, by fluke, really, discovered Bergen. It was just one of those things where I was on a path train and I saw a sign and I was just like, hey, my boyfriend um, is getting his master's at Rutgers. I was planning on moving out to New Jersey anyways. And I was just like, let's do this. Wow. I'm glad to hear our advertising is <laughs> paying off. It really is. <laughs> at, at least our valedictorian saw it and said, I'm going to attend Bergen Community College. That's really interesting. So talk about a little your experience at Bergen, what has it been like? You know, um, for a lot of students, we have a, a, a wide variety of students that attend. We have students that come from all over the world, all over the country, so their experiences are very different. What was your experience like? Well, to be honest, um, I actually was having a conversation with another graduate um, who's a vice president of PTK, Phi Theta Kappa, and we both were saying how Bergen, the beauty of Bergen, is it has this pull yourself up by the bootstraps mentality. It is what you make of it. You know, and when I first went in Bergen, I initially just wanted to be a commuter, mm -hmm. and I wasn't really motivated. Um, but my second semester, again, by fluke, I've always stumbled into success, never actually propelled myself. Mm -hmm. um, I signed up for an honors course, and that really was a transformative experience for me. Um, it just made me value my education. It made me want to wake up in the mornings and go to class. It made me excited about doing my coursework. I actually enjoyed the research I was doing. And that was very unique for me because I don't think I ever had that sort of self-fulfillment beforehand. And that's something that, it's something that belongs strictly to you. Like I remember when I was a kid, 
um, I did Taekwondo, and my karate instructors would always say to me, when you get a black belt, it's something that no one could take away from you because it's knowledge. It's not the actual belt, it's the knowledge. Right. And that's how I feel about Bergen. How did you, uh, a lot of students juggle, right? How did you juggle everything that's going on at the college with whatever's going on in your personal life? Did you find that to be difficult or no? Um, alcohol. No, I'm kidding. Alcohol. <laughs> I'm of age. Um, Just kidding. No, I'm kidding. Completely kidding. Um, no, you know, uh, I was very fortunate. I worked for the tutoring center. And while I was at the tutoring center, I could always do my own work as well. Mm -hmm. So they kind of went hand in hand. It was more of a cooperative learning experience. Um, you know, it just, you apply yourself. That, that's really it, you know. And I, I completely committed myself to my college experience. And I think that's, that's how you have to do it. What's, what, what's next for you, okay? You're the valedictorian of your class. You're joining a fraternity or sorority in your case of people that, um, it's a very small group. There's not that many people in this country, in this world that have been the valedictorian of anything. Um, what's next for you? How do you take this experience and, and bring it uh, for the rest of your life? Well, I'm hoping that lightning will strike twice and I'll uh, be the valedictorian at Columbia. <laughs> Columbia sorry. That's terrific. So you're going to Columbia. What are you going to major in? Uh, in political Columbia? science. So uh, are politics in your future or government or law? Um, one of the three. One of the three? It changes day by day, but um, one of the three. What was, um, what was your best experience at Bergen? Maybe it's going to be today, after today, but what's <laughs> the thing that's going to stick out in your mind um, over these years that you've been here? The students. The people who I've met are the most motivated, inspiring individuals I've ever come across. And, and as you said before, this is such a diverse community, but it's so different, yet there's this one common thread. You know, and it's something, it's, it's almost indescribable. But there's something that every Bergen student carries with them through their day. And it's such this, it's, just, it's so inspiring. Like, like, I wouldn't be the valedictorian if not for Min Kim, if not for Brandon Reyes, if not for Elsie Lam. Like, I could name 30 people who wouldn't let me fail. And that's students. And, and, and the professors are just top notch. Um, and, and you'll carry that with you for the rest of your life. You'll remember those people who helped you. Uh, let's talk about maybe it was the, your favorite moment. What was your favorite moment at Bergen? What was the thing that you look back on and you either laugh or you smile or, or maybe even you cry a little bit? I don't know. Um, Academic Awards was the other night. That was probably a big moment for you. But what was your favorite thing that you look back on? My favorite moment? Um, I'm putting her on the spot, folks. This really is putting me on the spot. I'm not entirely sure. Um, we could probably say that's going to happen in about a half hour, so make I, sure you <laughs> stick with this live stream of the commencement ceremony because maybe that's going to be Sonny's favorite moment. I think that will be. Um, but the first karaoke I ever witnessed is pretty awesome. <laughs> we have a lot of student life events and club events, uh, so in our student center we do karaoke, we do all kinds of events to try and really round out that college experience. I mean, did that ever play into your mind that uh, it's a commuter school, you know, you're not living on campus, that it somehow detracted from your experience here or no? Well, to be honest, I never saw myself as a college person, you know, and so that never crossed my mind because I never was a person who wanted to live in dorms and who, you know, wanted Greek life and who wanted this big community. I've, I've always been kind of like a lone wolf. And in fact, Bergen, in its own personal way, pulled me out of that. Anybody you want to say hello to? Um, I think We're all over the world. People could be watching overseas right now. They, they could be watching back at Paramus, which isn't quite all over the world. But anybody want to say hello? No. No. <laughs> a lady of few words, hopefully, she does have a few words in a few minutes. Sunny, thank you for stopping by. Good luck in a Very few welcome. minutes. That's Sunny Glotman. She is our valedictorian of the Bergen class of 2013. She will be speaking and giving the, valedictor the traditional valedictorian's address in a little more than a half hour now. Uh, it's got to be an exciting okay. moment for her. Uh, I can't wait to hear what she's going to no. talk about. And quite frankly, since it's going to be off the cuff, well, it's live, so who knows what could happen, just like this show, you know? Um, who knows what could happen here today. I'm happy to be with you. Again, my name is Larry Levanka. This is Studio Bergen Live. We're doing this for the first time live from the IZOD Center. We're about to bring in our next guest. Her name is Jean Goldstein. She is a friend of mine. She is the most recent professor emeritus here at the college. Now, I'll let Jean describe what that is, but in my view, it's basically the Faculty Hall of Fame. So uh, it's not every day you get to sit next to a Hall of Famer like Jean Goldstein. So, Jean, 
Welcome to the show. Thank you, and that's a great way to describe it, and I wouldn't have thought of it myself. My batting average is not so great, so that's wonderful. Thank you. Well, it had to be at least 300 uh, to get in the Hall of Fame, so okay. you're doing a pretty good job. I'm not going to argue with you, Larry. <laughs> so let's talk about that. Professor Emeritus, what does that mean? Well, I think it's recognition of long years of service at the college. Um, I started at the college in 1970, been here for a long time, seen a lot of changes, um, worked with a lot of people, and it's recognition of the work that I did during that time. Um, to, to receive that honor from your colleagues, okay, not from just somebody who's arbitrarily saying, oh, Jean just recently retired, let's give her an award. Right, right. This is something that comes from right, the faculty, right, from right, the people that you right, worked with right. throughout your career. What, right. what does that mean for Oh my you? God, it was, just, it was just a wonderful feeling, as you say, to have come from my peers, from people that I worked with. And I think um, as a non-teaching faculty, I was in counseling. And people would always say to me, well, what do you teach? And I would say, well, I educate. I educate students one by one in my office. And for the faculty, for the teaching faculty to recognize that what I did and what my colleagues in counseling do is on a peer with them, that really was the frosting on the cake. How did you first come to Bergen? I know it was a little while ago. Yeah, I don't want to yeah. make you feel old, but you look great. Thank you, thank you. Talk about that. Um, I had just finished a graduate program at Hunter. And one of my colleagues worked in the placement office there, and he said to me, come over here. He said, there's an opening in New Jersey, and there are three people who live in New Jersey. I'm going to give you the heads up first. You better get on the phone and call. And I did, and I had an interview with Ginny Lachlan. Wow and uh, was fortunate enough to get the offer of the job. And you never left all these I never years left. Later. I thought I was going to leave. I thought I would be doing great things other places. Um, but over the years, I worked under a lot of people, and I had a lot of different responsibilities. So I didn't always do the same thing. So I really feel like I had a good half dozen jobs during that time. You embraced a lot of it, a lot of different things over the course of your right. career too. Right. I mean, I know when I started about six years ago, Jean was in my hallway. She was uh, down the down yeah. the hall from me. Yeah. Um, you were talking about a podcast. Now, six oh, years yeah. ago, now yeah. that doesn't sound like it's such a big yeah. deal, a podcast. But six years yeah. ago, that was something that was really yeah. on the cutting edge. Um, you did that throughout your career. You always wanted to find something new and innovative. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, talk about that a little bit. Um, well, one of the things that I really I think was new at the time was reaching out to adult women um, and that was probably in the in the 80s I'm thinking um, and women were making changes in their lives they were either wanting to become more independent and so along with several other faculty members my friend Harriet and Connie Lee we put together a program called Project Return uh, where we brought women in for an orientation. We set them up in classes with faculty members who were very receptive to this group. Um, John Sullivan, another member of the Emeritus Club, uh, called them the, uh, the, um, the board members because they would sit in the front of his class and uh, participate more than many of the traditional students. And we had support groups for them. And they blossomed and they grew and it was really a wonderful, wonderful thing and that's something I'm very proud of. What's your Bergen moment? My Bergen moment. God. The one thing that's stayed, and over the course of 40 years, I'm oh, sure there's a million yeah, of them. And, but. and with memory being what it is, I've forgotten a lot of them. But being the, um, the Grand Marshal at graduation a couple of years ago was really very special. I mean, I will cherish that forever. Um, other moments, um, I had several students who were valedictorians and went on to wonderful things. That was wonderful. Um, yeah. You know, that dovetails into my next question. A few years ago, you were the Grand Marshal right. here at commencement. You're back in this building now. Right, yeah. uh, what kind of memories, memories does that conjure up for you of that day? Well, of that day, uh, well, um, one of them that I shouldn't say was how I broke the mace, but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> the mace is a uh, traditional yeah. uh, college, um, I guess, uh, instrument for commencement right. that the Grand Marshal carries. and. Uh, from what I'm hearing, Gene broke it. But, I broke um, the mace. The, I broke the mold. The, the mace is still here, so yes. I think we're okay. Yes, I think, yes. <laughs> but, you know, when you, I had asked Larry for some of the questions he was going to ask me, and one of them had to do with previous graduations. If not the first, it was the second one that I went to. All of the college was in what's now Ender Hall, and commencement was held in the parking lot right near there in a tent. And just as the graduates were coming up to get their degrees, there was a downpour and thunder and lightning. And it was 
flooded and they walked up holding their shoes and finally it just got to be too much and we just all ran out in the rain in these drenched and it was a moment that like 38 years later now I've never forgotten but it's part of the moment I mean you know uh, you know that day maybe it seems like oh man this is terrible yeah. this is my graduation yeah. but you know what maybe uh, making lemons into lemonade I and guess. I'm sure none of the kids who ever graduated or none of the students would ever forget that it was just unforgettable let's go back to your commencement years Fine. ago. Oh. What was your commencement like? Do you, was it different? Oh. Did, was there this pomp and circumstance that they're, yeah, they're saying yeah. the same thing? Yeah, I went to CCNY and at the time they had Lewiston Stadium which was a venue for concerts and athletic events outdoors in a big stadium and we lined up on Convent Avenue and I had obviously all my friends and we were all together and um, it just was so exciting. I was the first out of my family to graduate from college, so I'm sure my parents were very, very proud. What's the advice that you would offer for the graduates here today? I mean, that's always yeah. a hackneyed question, yeah. you know, it's, it's asked all the time, but what would you say? I, What's Gene Goldstein's advice? I would say never stop learning. That would be my one thing. Never stop learning. You've finished your, maybe your formal education, celebrated today but you're going to continue to be educated throughout your life and embrace that. That's great advice and Jean is one of the honored guests here today as a professor emeritus. She will be sitting up on the platform that is immediately over my left shoulder here. Uh, Jean, thank you for stopping All by. Right. I really appreciate it. Good thank luck you. and take care. Thank you. We are counting down folks. We are within five minutes now of commencement 2013. You might have heard the band in the background. The band is tuning up. Um, this is kind of like the Oscars, you know, right? You get the hook when you hear the music. I'm going to be getting the okay, hook very shortly. Hook. But I have one final guest that's going to stop by. His name is Nestor Melendez. He is the uh, Dean of Student Life here at the college. I'm going to give him two minutes here to talk about what he remembers about his commencement and what he's going to say to the graduates. Nestor, come on down. How you doing? How are you, Nestor? It's crazy. Crazy. <laughs> yes. Nestor is running crazy, but you know what? This event comes off great because of guys like Nestor. So Nestor, uh, we only have a short period of time here yeah. to talk, but number one, what's your commencement moment? What do you remember from your commencement years ago? Uh, being in this arena, um, my first one uh, here in New Jersey, uh, the beach balls came out and I caught the first one, popped it, and was met with a resounding chorus of boos. About 3,000 people booed me. And that's the that's first time. That's gotta be a pretty cool <laughs> feeling, though, to get booed. It, it was know? nice. It was you're nice. like a wrestling heel. Yes, you know, you're that's like the bad it's guy. exactly what I thought of. Instantly, I was like, it's, it's a macho man all over again. So, uh, but yeah, that was that was it. So this year, if there's any uh, balloons or any uh, beach balls, you're gonna let them go, or they're going down. They're going they're, down. They're going down. He's still the heel. <laughs> yeah. That's how it is. What's the advice that you offer to these graduates? As uh, we're within five minutes, as I said, um, what's the advice you give them? You know, feeling like it's it's uh, Dick Clark's rocking New Year's Eve. Um, I guess that makes me Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> it does. Enjoy the moment. This is this is their time to shine, to to kind of reflect on everything that they did to get to this point, and uh, to just take it all in, and hopefully, uh, it becomes something that they do. Graduating from college is just what I do. So that's that's what I'd like for them to walk away with. It's one of the great guys that works at Bergen Community College. As I said earlier, there are a lot of things that go on here that can't get off the ground without this guy. So I'm really happy that he found time to stop by our show here today and talk a little bit about commencement. Nestor, Thanks. thank you for being here. Thanks I'll let you get me. back to work. I All know right. it's a busy day. So yeah, I got to go. You got to go. go. I got to go. Thank you. He's got to go, folks. And that's pretty much it. We are about to wrap up Studio Bergen Live, the show that we have christened here today at commencement 2013. I'm really happy that you were joining us here today. Don't forget, there are 2,308 graduates here for commencement. Not all of them in the arena, but they're all in our hearts, right? Follow the Facebook page live for a live blog with Mr. BCC. Don't forget to check out our new Instagram account. Don't forget to check out the Twitter account. And just, you know what? Have a good time. This is commencement. This is a celebration. This is the college's biggest day of the year. Hopefully we get to do this again next year. My life will be a little bit different next year. I'll be a dad at this point next year. I'm really happy about that. Can't wait for that my son or daughter to arrive. So uh, to my wife, if she's watching, that's why I'm excited. But I'm also excited that it's commencement 2013. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch Studio Bergen every month from Bergen Community College on our Facebook page, on YouTube, and on Verizon Fios, Channel 26, Torch TV. The music's playing. I'm getting the hook. It's commencement 2013. I'm Larry LaVanca. Thanks and take care.